Sharing is caring, right? There are lots of things that we are more than willing to offer to others. It's not uncommon to offer to share things among friends and family, like an article of clothing, a bag of chips, a blanket. However, there are some things that you should never share for medical and other reasons. One thing you can always share though is health tips and other things like that. Some things our channel does. So why don't you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell as well. So you're looking to share some of your stuff. You do that because as a bestie viewer, you're really generous. However, as generous as you may be, there are some things that you should never share with others. Embrace your inner greed when it comes to the personal things that should remain persona. The aftermath of oversharing can have a surprisingly disturbing consequence. Here is some of the stuff that you should never share with others. Number one, toothbrushes. While you may be inclined to borrow someone's toothbrush when you forgot yours, there can be dangerous consequences. Dentists state that sharing a toothbrush is a bad idea from a hygienic as well as a medical standpoint. Unless the toothbrush is put in boiling water after being used, you can be exposed to germs and gum disease. Number two, lip balm. The lip skin is one of the most vulnerable parts of the body, which makes sharing lip balm ill-advised. Even if the lip balm's owner has no signs, there's a risk of easily catching a disease like herpes. Number three, toothpaste. While not as risky as swapping toothbrushes, sharing toothpaste should be generally avoided. Toothpaste can carry infections, especially if the spout's edges touch contagious bristles, which is more likely than you think. Number four, tweezers. Tweezers can easily become a carrier of blood-borne infections if not properly cleaned between uses. While the chances of catching a disease through the average tweezers are fairly low, it's not worth the risk when all you have to do is clean the tool first. Number five, razors. It's not advisable to even share razors with anyone else. They quickly accumulate tons of dead skin cells and bacteria. Also, if someone has cut themselves using a razor, sharing it could result in picking up a bloodborne infection. Number six, Nail clippers. Nail clippers should be disinfected with an alcohol-containing solution after every use. Nail clippers can carry bacteria and sharing them can risk transferring someone's fungi, which can result in athlete's foot. Number seven, towels. Sharing towels is to be avoided due to their ability to retain moisture and other bacteria, especially when they hang in a wet bathroom. Contaminated towels can transmit fungal infections and bacteria that can result in acne and pink eye. Number eight, deodorants. Most deodorants don't actually eliminate any odor-causing bacteria, but instead, just mask them. Therefore, sharing deodorant isn't a good idea because it's solely transferring someone else's sweat and traces of their bacteria. Number nine, bar soap. A bar soap's purpose may be to clean, but it still does get dirty. This means it shouldn't be shared among people. There's a multitude of illnesses that can be transmitted by direct skin contact through sharing soap with others. Number 10, earbuds. Earbuds can easily transfer the bacteria from one ear to the other when shared. It's important to make sure to wipe off any earbuds you plan on exchanging with someone else. Number 11, makeup. Sharing makeup is a bad idea, especially eye-related products. This is an easy way to contract everything from pink eye to canker sores. Number 12, stuff you put on your head. Anything that makes contact with the head isn't a good idea to share due to the risk of spreading lice. This includes everything from hats, helmets, and pillows, to hairbrushes and combs. Number 13, pumice stones. Pumice stones are prone to becoming full of dead skin from the feet, which makes it something you should definitely not share. Sharing these stones can result in transmitting fungus or, in some cases, strains of HPV that cause plantar warts. Number 14, earrings. You may be used to sharing jewelry with your friends, but earrings are different. While proper sanitation can eliminate the risk of transmitting any bloodborne infections, it's best to limit your earrings to your ears only. Number 15, flip-flops. 
Throwing on a pair of a friend's flip-flops may seem harmless, but they should be considered personal items. Considering flip-flops are worn often in the summer or by wet feet, they can easily be prone to harboring fungus and bacteria, which can result in athlete's foot or warts. Number 16. Pillowcases These places to put your pillow can quickly become home to hair product residue, dead skin, bacteria, and germs. While your own pillowcase is okay, others can result in your skin breaking out. Number 17. Underwear Most people cringe at the thought of sharing underwear, but some don't see the problem with secondhand undies if they've had a good wash. However, it's best to make sure you're the only one wearing your underwear. Sharing can not only lead to STIs, but some bacteria can also be incredibly resistant and still manage to infect. Number 18. Floss Never share floss. This might seem obvious, but considering one couple on TLC's cheapskates admitted to it, there are probably more people who think it's okay. Sharing floss is an easy way to transmit viruses and should never be done. Number 19. Computer keyboards This one might seem odd, but bear with us here. Keyboards can become home to more germs than a toilet. The more your keyboard is shared, the more prone it gets to harboring bacteria. Make sure those who are typing away on your device wash their hands regularly. Number 20. Cellular devices Cell phones, much like keyboards, can become a breeding ground for germs. Due to this, it's best to keep other people's fingers or face away from them. Number 21. Loofahs Yes, you might only have one loofah in your shower, but this is inadvisable mostly because they're a breeding ground for fungi and viruses. An infected loofah can cause acne, nail fungus, and even ringworm. Why are these bath time staples so deadly? Well, it's because they're usually damp, which means bacteria, fungi, and viruses can grow on them easily. Scientist Dr. Whitney Bow had this to say in regard to loofahs. My rule of thumb is that if the item is usually damp, never share. Number 22. Anything in a jar. No, we don't mean things like jams or jellies or pickles, unless you're using your hands to get those aforementioned foods out. No, we mean things like Vaseline, face cream, and other products of the sort. Why is that, you ask? Dr. Whitney Bow once again says, every time anyone dips their fingers in, New germs contaminate the entire jar, so they go on to the skin or face of whoever uses the product next. So yeah, you better start using toothpicks to apply that face cream. You wouldn't want to get sick, would you? Number 23. Nose Clippers Besides the fact that sticking something that has been in someone else's nose is just plain gross, the nose can carry some pretty nasty bacteria as well. Bacteria like Staph and MRSA both of which can cause mild infections on the skin, like sores or boils, often, which often hide out in your nostrils. And, just in case you hadn't already figured this out, they tend to latch onto anything you've struck up your nose recently, like, say, a pair of nose clippers. If you want to share nose clippers, then you should probably disinfect them after every single use. Number 24. Hair Trimmer Here we're talking about things like electric razors. Unless the trimmer is properly sanitized like it is at the barber shop, then you should never share it with someone else. After consulting Dr. Whitney Bow, we discovered that sharing dirty trimmers can transfer the bacteria from another person's face onto your skin, increasing the risk for acne and folliculitis. So yeah, unless you want skin blemishes or a common skin condition in which the hair follicles become inflamed, then keep your hair trimmers to yourself. Number 25 water bottles, and drinking glass. Finally, we're going to tell you never to share drinks with someone. Colds, strep throat, mononucleitis, herpes, mumps, and meningitis can all be transferred from shared beverages. And so, our list of things you should never share has to wrap up now. What did you learn from this video? Are there things that you were previously sharing with people that you're not going to anymore? Did we forget any of the most important things you should never share? 
Leave us any of the tips related to things you should never share in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.